Judge denied bond today for the man accused of shooting and killing a Seymour Johnson airman last summer. Police say 32-year-old Ryan Apollo Morgan was killed outside a bar following an argument. His death spurred the city of Goldsboro to make changes on how it handles violent crime. Our David Hurst caught up with leaders today to find out if they've seen an impact. We were very concerned about it. The Goldsboro murder of a Seymour Johnson airman was six months ago, but it's still fresh in many minds. But that was the first time I heard anything, anybody getting killed or shot downtown. In July, 32-year-old Ryan Apollo Morgan was shot and killed outside the bar Railhouse, which was shut down following the shooting. This weekend, 36-year-old Bobby Williams was charged in the murder and extradited to Goldsboro from Greene County, where he was jailed on unrelated charges. I was glad to hear they have caught this guy. Morgan's death was one of eight murders in the first half of 2016 in Goldsboro, a record pace for the city. In response, city leaders announced some changes, including new technology, improved community policing, and hiring more police officers in an effort to reduce the violent crime. We like to be able to charge or solve all of the crimes that occur, particularly particularly those that are the more serious offenses because it brings closure for the families that are involved and really for the community as a whole. There are changes that many in the community say they've seen firsthand. We see them more interacting with um, the citizens and um, just more presence on the street, period. City leaders say there were only three homicides the rest of 2016, putting the total at 11, but six of those remain unsolved. Many hope the recent arrest will bring some hope to those victims' families still looking for closure. Homicides are going to be something we're going to stay on trying to solve till we get to the end. Even years later, we're still trying to solve those cases. Reporting in Goldsboro, David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina.